Hey everyone, um, it's hard to admit, but it is October 26th, so been a while since I updated again. Yeah, that's pretty much normal now. Um, it's been a really crazy like month and a half since uh, September. Um, last time when I, I was just talking about like the article that came out in my hometown, yeah, well that was picked up by the two largest newspapers in the state of Nevada. So without my knowing, that was interesting. Um, it was stressful there for a little bit because I didn't know what was happening and I didn't know that they were actually allowed to do that. Um, and then both papers made small, like they condensed the article and made small, not necessarily changes, but just kind of changed the overall tone of the article. So I wasn't exactly happy about that, but you know, it all worked out and was fine. And then I ended up doing a radio interview with KNPR Las Vegas as well, which is the PBS affiliate. Um, so that was all really good. And still all reactions have been very positive. And what I've kind of been observing over like the past month and a half is as I've been just very publicly coming out, um, which includes just, I mean, I update this stuff to Facebook now, which I hadn't done in the past. So, you know, people that I've met post-transition who didn't necessarily know, it's like, well, okay, you're gonna find out and, you know, see how you feel about it. But um, what I've kind of been noticing is that it's been creating this really awesome ripple effect, um, wherein, like, one person hears the story and they learn something from it, and then, you know, they, they talk with other people and then they learn, so it's just creating, like, this really cool ripple effect. Like, a couple examples, I was at work on Monday, yeah, on Monday, and I haven't been into work uh, at all this semester because of school, but I was in the office and I was walking by one of my coworkers' office and he pulls me in and he's like, I just want to tell you how much your article impressed me and just kind of going on and on and on about, you know, how, um, how it's just kind of changed his perception and he was really um, uh, just impressed. So that was really neat. And then... And I should say, I mean, I work at a pretty conservative mining company in Reno, so that's that's kind of a big deal. Um, and then just other, like, I was sitting talking with my dad a couple weeks ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. But we're just sitting in his workshop, like we've always done, just talking life. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's like, you know, I was thinking about it. I think all people should be allowed to get married. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, it just kind of caught me off guard, and that, that was kind of actually that. But it was just, you know, just small little changes that they just create bigger changes. Um, and then one of my friends um, who kind of found out that I'm trans through all the article stuff and whatnot, um, she texts me and she's like, Dana, my mom is telling my nieces and nephews about your story. And... Um, like she hashtagged it like breeding tolerance or something like that so it was really just it's really cool so it's just been really fun seeing this ripple effect that's been happening because of the whole coming out um, and then some other really good news is that I I met another trans guy in Reno and I haven't met too many in Reno that I really get on with in that we have like similar stories and similar experiences so you know there there are some in Reno that I you know that I respect but it's just like we haven't connected um, but met this other guy and it's just been awesome because he's starting a, an actual like consulting company and it's just so much fun so just been talking with him um, about how how you know we've both observed that because he's also going out and doing lots of advocacy work um, so it's just been really neat to see. And I was in my genetics class yesterday, and my professor went on for like half an hour about, um, like, uh, well, about sex determination, like chromosome sex determination, and how it's not so black and white, as in it's not just XX and XY, like it can be XXY, and, you know, all the different variations. And she kind of boiled it down to the point, she's like, uh, essentially it's not so black and white and therefore you know like gender and gender identity aren't so black and white so it was just I'm sitting there I'm like yes thank you um, and I'm sitting in the front row and I'm like yeah you know so um, most people wouldn't understand but I was texting my other buddy and I'm like you would understand so it was kind of exciting just the whole like 
biological and scientific aspect and, you know, talking this and kind of putting that out there to a bunch of, you know, very, like, rational scientists, I was like, yes! Um, so it was exciting. Uh, but, yeah, it's just been really neat to observe how things have been happening and how people's perceptions are very, very, like, not even very slowly changing, but just how they're changing and then how that carries out and just affects other things. Um, I was presenting in a class last week and just kind of sharing my story and everything, and one person was like, it is so refreshing to hear a good story. It's just, you know, it's, it's pretty uplifting, and I'm like, yes. Because uh, I think a lot of, like, people, people know that it's a struggle. That doesn't need to be said. Um, and that's why I always talk about the positives. You know, obviously I always mention that we still have a long way to go. Um, and there's still a lot of intolerance, but it's, it is changing, and it is kind of just that ripple effect change. Um, so that's just been kind of something interesting I've been observing. Uh, and then just mad craziness with school and just all of that. And then, let me see, don't throw up. Um, I kind of, I, I... I adopted a new dog. River. Hey, Bubba. He's old and he's deaf, but he's mine. So he's 13. Huh, Bubba? That's my teddy bear. <laughs> and he's very grumpy if you wake him up from sleep. So that's my grumpy butt. But yeah, so that's been the uh, exciting fun of my life. Um, have tons of other things I... Constantly, I'm always like, oh, I should make a video about that. I should make a video about that. And I don't. Because I don't. And I don't have time. Um, and then, I tend to, just out of respect for my roommates, I tend to not do that while they're home. Because that's just, I don't know. And not like they don't know, and they're not supportive. But it's just, you know, interesting. So, anyways, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. Um, hope everyone's doing well, and I'll talk with everyone later. Bye.